what if puppy gate was really like an undercover sign to buy the dog points? Wait, is there such a thing as, is that what we're calling Fauci's kill yes. puppies thing? I love that people, it's the only time people pay attention to his vast record of decades of murder. Right. Right. Only when it affects puppies does anyone get their panties but in a bunch. It even took, I was surprised how many days it took for people to get their panties in a bunch because it was out for three or four days before like I saw any like usual leftist bleeding hearts, animal rights people get well, upset. They were, they were waiting for their influencers to tell them. To tell them. them that. <laughs> okay. I see Erewhon as this really interesting like place to observe certain segments of the society overlapping with each other, right? It's totally normal to go in there and see a celebrity talking with like the neighborhood teenager who they don't actually know. It's not a friend of their kids or to see like, you know, someone who's not really, I don't know if they're necessarily really a bum or homeless, but they sort of give that air off sitting, having lunch with like a billionaire or a celebrity or whatever. And like, I've had some of the strangest inter encounters with people there that I've ever had. Francis Hogan is basically saying the same thing that we hear lots of, you know, Congress women and men from, you know, whatever de de district, Democratic districts, or, or even some of the Republicans will agree to it based on this harm against children or whatever kind of thing. She's coming and saying the same thing that they've been saying, right? But for some reason, because she's the represent, she's from Facebook and whistleblower, they can give her the whistleblower title. Exactly. Like people who were not moved by it before are now moved by it. What struck me as odd. I mean, there's so many things about her whistleblowing that struck me as odd. She is, it, she's like, she's like the represent, she's basically, she's like the representative for censorship. She's like the agent of change. Or, you which know, is it, exactly it, what, yeah, how I yeah. see Tristan Harris, exactly yeah. the same. But like, it, it's similar to me as me too, of like, oh my God, there's a casting couch in, in Hollywood. Oh my God, media is harmful for adolescent girls. Like, no duh. <laughs> Hey, everybody, you just watched a few of the clips from episode number 49 of Words with myself and Danny Katz. Um, the video will be available at the link that will be below. Um, today's episode of Words kind of covered a vast cornucopia of topics ranging from Puppygate and dog coins to Esalen and Erewhon to some of our favorite, quote, alt media, unquote, characters, our fathers and uh, what's really going on with some of these whistleblowers. And there was also an afterward segment recorded for patrons. And in that segment, we talked about two gentlemen that we've talked about uh, before in other ways who seem to use their mastery of um, language and understanding of the way reality and the world works um, to enlighten people and then ultimately wrap them back into a level of, of mind control that they don't suspect. Anywho, uh, it was a really fun episode. We showed up without uh, a pre-show about what we were going to talk about and just kind of flew off the cuff, and it was a really good one. So I hope you enjoy it. Link is below. We'll see you all real soon. Take care.